There are a ton of things that I have set up on my phone that make it a lot easier for me to use, a lot funner for me to use, a lot safer for me to use, and I know that you guys love videos like that, so thought I would share with you five of my favorite things about Android. Some of these are specific to Marshmallow, some of them are not, but important stuff that you need to know about your phone and things that you can do today just to make your life a little bit easier and better. So first off, do yourself a huge, huge favor. Put your personal information on the lock screen in case your phone gets lost. It's underneath the security settings. You can just put a phone number, someone else's phone, your spouse's phone number, an email address that you know that you can access from any other computer. Just do yourself that little favor, get that peace of mind. In case you lose your phone, if it winds up in the hands of a good Samaritan, they can get in touch with you ASAP. While you're in the security settings though, you can also take a look at Smart Lock. And if you haven't used Smart Lock, goodness gracious, what have you even been doing? Smart Lock is crazy easy to use, okay? Don't worry. All it does is it pays attention to what devices are connected to your, to your phone, whether it's a Bluetooth smartwatch or Bluetooth headphones, whatever it is, it pays attention to Bluetooth. It also pays attention to your actual GPS location. So if you're near home, you're near work, Smart Lock will make sure that your phone stays unlocked in easy to access mode. The best thing about it is that as of Marshmallow, it actually works even better than it used to. Now, you can actually use your fingerprint reader that works on the back, even when Smart Lock has your actual lock turned off. It's really, really easy and super convenient. You'd be silly not to turn it on. All right, let's talk convenience for a second here. Let's say you're at home, you're on the couch, you're under a bunch of blankets, it's pretty chilly, you don't wanna get up, you're watching a movie and you've got your hot cocoa right on your belly. Well, Thank goodness for Google Now, because believe it or not, it works really, really well with your voice actions with a number of different apps and services and devices. Chiefly, I wanna tell you about Nest. If you just say, okay, Google, set the temperature to 75, Nest will do that for you so long as you're logged in and your Nest is connected to the internet. It's really, really cool and insanely convenient. Second to last thing before I let you guys go, the system UI tuner is really easy to turn on and it gets you quite a bit of new customization options. It's also fairly new to Android. If you open up your quick settings pane, which is right inside of your notifications pane, that gear that you would normally push to take you into the settings, just hold your finger on it. It'll start spinning, and then once it starts spinning, wait about 10 seconds and then let go with your finger, and it should dump you right into the settings and let you know that the UI tuner has been turned on. That's gonna let you do a couple of things. First and most importantly, you're gonna be able to see your battery percentage up in the status bar at all times. But you can also change what you can see in the status bar and change what you can see in your quick settings. It's pretty helpful. Lastly, but not leastly, I only just realized how good Android actually is at handling Bluetooth controllers. Go grab yourself a really sweet emulator for whatever platform it is that you miss the most, or even just your favorite first person shooter or whatever game it is that you play. And then just grab whatever old Bluetooth controller you can find online. You can find some really dope deals on them. I just bought one for $30 that supports all kinds of retro stuff and even has an analog stick pair. Bluetooth controllers aside, that's a few of my favorite things that you can do in Android here these days. Go ahead and leave a subscribe or push a like or do a thing to watch a video. I'm gonna fall over on this bike. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and I'm gonna crash now.